Hey guys, it's Mike, back with another video, and today I thought I'd bring out Yogi to help me out with this. I um, just want to wish you guys again a very happy new year. Uh, hopefully you guys have a safe and uh, prosperous new year. Um, no drinking and driving tonight, guys. Be safe, um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful 2018. I just wanted to talk a little bit today about my collecting goals for 2018. Um, it, just like you all guys have probably have, I have goals that I want to set. 2017 was a pretty good year for me for the first time in a while in terms of my collections. Um, I was able to pick up some pieces that I wanted for cards, bobbleheads, and other other stuff. But there's still stuff that I want to be able to do. So I thought I would go over them with you, show you the list that I got, and just you know talk a little bit about everything. Um, maybe you guys have the same list that I have or something similar. Um, would love to see videos of what you guys may want to do with your collections going forward. Uh, the first one I have is organize, as you can see, with exclamation points. Um, I really, really, really want to organize my collection. If you, if you guys take a look at how I have my stuff right now, you'd probably cringe. Things are in various states of disarray. Um, I don't have anything on record of what I actually own. Um, that's something I really want to switch and change and try to get things uh, settled in the, within the next year. I have cards that I have in my in monster boxes that need to go into binders um, or into like uh, tradable um, bind tradable boxes that I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a like a trade or a, bo a box where I can organize stuff to send out to you guys um, going forward so I know what I have and I don't have that and. Um, I do need another bookcase for my binders because I my binder bookcase have been has been overtaken. Um, I have binders on top of the bookcase. I have binders on the sub floor next to the bookcase. Um, I need to get another binder bookcase. A couple of years ago, I had a I had the chance to actually get a library one of those old school library uh, index card folder uh, drawers that hold about like five thousand baseball cards, maybe even more. And I passed on it because um, I, where I live in the Bronx is not exactly the best place. And the guy who, who was going to bring it to me was coming all the way down from Rochester. And he was willing to drive it down to me. And I was ashamed. And I, I just said, thanks, but no thanks. And I kind of regret that now. Um, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, moving forward, I just want to get some organization. I don't need another. I do want to buy another uh, bookcase for the binders. And I do want to be able to just get everything organized so I know what I have having something like uh, on the computer also would help I do have a couple of um, I, I, I do have a couple of like books or guides with check marks that I've been able to check off some of the collection but that's only going up to like a certain year which I think was 2007 um, a friend of mine uh, actually bought an online checklist of every Jets card just set he has and he sent me a copy of it so I have I, that's something I'm going to be looking through this year also and just marking off what I have it's current so I would be I'll be able to um keep up with what I have with the as as far as the Jets go um there's Yankee I believe there's a Yankees one there's a Knicks one and there's an Islanders one that I want to get the Yankees one's the most expensive one but that's because it's going back to the 20s with this list so I would like to get it with all, but that's another thing for another time. Um, moving forward, uh, number two, fill holes in my Yankees, Jets, Knicks, and Islanders team sets. Um, I am a team collector. I love, love, love putting together team sets of my teams, and um, that's something I've kind of uh, stopped doing in the past couple of years, and that's something I want to get back to doing. Um, I have a ton of, yeah, like I said, I have a ton of cards. Maybe I have holes that have been filled and I just don't know yet, which brings me back to number one to organize. So um, hopefully I can do that going forward. Um, I had, I used to buy team sets um, um, of uh, like the Islanders and the Knicks and the Jets, but I had stopped doing that um, in terms of, in favor of putting all my money into player collections. But um, I think I'm going to start doing more team sets going forward number three continue to add to my reggie pc but don't ignore tino or tex which is what i've been doing lately um well not too so far i've been actually picking up a couple of tino cards and i've always picked up to but as of late i've been ferociously 
chasing Reggie stuff, then that's because I want to build a Reggie PC. Um, but I don't want to ignore Tino Martinez, especially his 90s stuff. He has such beautiful cards from the 90s. And Teixeira, I love Teixeira. Don't want to ignore my Teixeira PC. I would like to see that grow. Um, I want to get to certain numbers with these uh, sets, with these collections. That's going to be some, another video that I'll talk about later on. Um, but I do want to continue to pick up Tino and Teixeira stuff, as well as Reggie Jackson stuff. And my Don Manningly collection, I don't want to ignore that either, which I didn't put down. Number four, continue to add to my bobblehead collection. That goes without saying. I'm going to continue to go to bobblehead games this year. Um, I have bobbleheads I still need to. Re I still would like to review on this channel. Um, I just got a, a couple of bobbleheads, uh, one for Christmas and one that I kind of picked up on my own. Um, so, and I have two more that I'm that someone's holding on to me for. That I got to actually get back to them on that so I can you know pay them and get them here. But yep, going to be going to all the Yankee bobblehead games this year again. Um, and I'm going to want to pick up some more bobbleheads going forward. Uh, number five, pick up more starting lineups. Um, replace the McFarlands I have and dabble in statues. Now, let me explain that one. Um, this year I've rediscovered starting lineup figures. Actually, I never collected starting lineups as a kid. Um, I wasn't a kid when they were out. I was already in high school. And um, as a high school student, I wasn't really looking to pick up toys. I was too busy chasing girls. Um, and other stuff, uh, working and buying clothes and buy paying for my own stuff. So starting lamps wasn't something that I was really looking to buy. Um, so now that I'm a little older and I want to collect, I want to start to continue to pick up more starting lineups. Also, I want to, I have a bunch of Yankee McFarlane's. The problem was that, and this is how stupid I am sometimes, I actually put them in bags and wrap them up in bubble wrap thinking they were going to be protected and uh, not too long ago I pulled them out and a lot of them were broken so there's a I had and I was picking up almost every Yankee McFarlane that was released oh, of course there was a few that I was missing but I had almost the entire Yankee run up to a certain point and now most of those McFarlane's are broken so I have to replace them at some point um, some of them are gonna be harder because there are some that have increased in value but there are going to be others that I'll be able to take care of with no problem. I mean, Farlands usually go for anywhere from $10 to $25, maybe $30. And there's some Jets McFarlands I want to pick up too. I haven't gotten the McNamath. I'm not McNamath, I'm sorry. I have not picked up the Joe Namath um, McFarland of him running off the field with his Findex finger in the air. That's the one I've been wanting, and I was screaming for McFarland to do, and they finally did, and I hadn't picked it up yet. So... And there's also a John Riggins one I haven't picked up, and I have to get replaced the Wayne Corbett one I had. And I want to pick up the um, Dur uh, Durrell Rivas McFarlane. And I still have to get the LaDamian Tomlinson one and the Sean Green one. So there's a couple of McFarlanes I don't have from the Jets. I want to pick up the, the John Tavares one. And there's a couple of Mar uh, Marty McBrodeurs that I don't have either. So I want to be able to get that up. Um, pick those up and also statues I picked up my first um, well not my first I picked up I, I do got uh, some of the Yankee Stadium giveaway statues I have the Bernie Williams one I have the um, Dylan Batances one I have the Derek Jeter one of him jumping and throwing that came out years ago and when when the old stadium was still up um, I've always I, I love statues since but statues are a little more pricey I did pick up a sports impressions Don Manningly statue uh, earlier this year, which I'll review at some point also. Um, I do like statues. I think they look awesome in cabinets uh, and on shelves. So um, I would do want to grab some Danbury Mint ones. I would love to get some Salvinos and continue with the Sports Impressions uh, statues along the way. So I've got some options there. Uh, next, uh, more pennants, buttons, pins, and schedules. Um, this past year, I also started picking up some pennants. Or I was actually gifted some pennants, I should say. Um, I also uh, picked up my first button, which I wanted to have here. Hang on one second. So this is the first button I picked up. It's a 1981 Reggie Jackson Sports Impressions, Sports Photos Impressions uh, button that you would get by uh, sending in a dollar and some wrappers from 1981 Fleer baseball cards and you get your pick a button uh, and I grabbed the Reggie one off eBay for pretty cheap so I do want to pick up more of the photo buttons I think they look great in a frame and hung on a wall um, 
As you guys already know, I do collect the uh, pins. Every time I go to a game, I try to pick up a pin or two. And um, sometimes if I see one on eBay real cheap, I'll pick up a pin there too. Um, and schedules. If you see my schedule binder, I just picked up some more schedules that should be here within the next week or so. So I'll show those off once I get them as well. So yeah, I want to continue going through those also. Next one, try TTMing again. I used to TTM a lot. Um, I stopped doing it for a couple of reasons. Sometimes I don't know what to say to players, especially players who haven't really done much in their careers, but I want their autographs for the Yankee or whatever PC that I'm trying to fill. Um, and plus, um, after writing a few letters, my hands cramp up. So, um, it's, I kind of stopped doing it that way. But, you know, there's some stuff that I want to do. Uh, like I told Mike O offline a couple about a couple weeks ago, damn him because I want to now start doing chasing the Yankee uh, Allen and Ginter P, uh, TTMs, um, get those cards signed, and I also want to try to get the old school diamond diamond uh, cards signed. I've, oh my goodness, I forgot what they're called now. They're off the top of my head, um, but you know the ones I'm talking about. Um, Oh, I can't remember now, but yeah, they're the ones that were um, like drawing it. I believe uh, Perez drew some of them, um, and if they were Dunruss, um, Diamond Collections, I think they were called. I don't know, but uh, those cards are also, I have a couple of them signed, and I want to get a couple more signed coming up, going forward also. Um, next, I also want to try dabbling in game used. Um, I do have a game used bat. For, um, I believe it was... Um, Oh, he's a, he was a catcher for the Yankees. He only played... I mean, I'm... My brain is not working today. Um, but I do have a game used bat. I'll show it off in, in another video. Um, I have a Jorge Posada game issued bat. So, I do want to be able to um, pick up some more bats. Uh, they're expensive, though. So, um, I don't see myself picking a bat up anytime soon. I would like to. I mean, I would love to own a, a Mark Teixeira or a Tino Martinez game used bat. Or a Fiverr Win Lottery, maybe even a Reggie bat. Or a Mattingly bat, but um, I've seen people. If you look on games used, uni uh, game used universe, um, they have their collections of bats and other game used jerseys and hats and stuff like that. And I think those collections are awesome, but they're very expensive. So I don't see myself doing that anytime soon. But it's something I would like to do at one point. Uh, next, pick up more '90s inserts and refractors. Um, if you have, if you're in Nate's group. On Facebook, you'll see all these beautiful cards, uh, beautiful refractors, um, inserts. I've always been an inserts junkie. I love inserts to death, and I've always collected inserts. Um, but seeing some of these inserts from the 90s that I never even knew existed uh, are awesome. And I want to, you know, get, jump headfirst into grabbing some more of those. Uh, again, I got going back to the first... Uh, thing on my list to organize i want to see if i have any in some boxes um i also want to probably try to separate the inserts from my uh, in my binders from the sets and put them in top loaders or if uh, if they're really 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 uh good looking put them in some uh, mags and put them aside so that's something i also want to do and finally i want to give back to the community um i'm doing that slowly but surely you guys have been great to me sending me stuff over the past year, there's still people I have to get back to, hit back up, um, and I want to do that coming going forward. And again, don't send me anything unless I send you something first, because I don't want to wait too long in sending anybody anything and then someone getting a little ticked off about it. But yeah, I really want to give back to this community. You guys have let me in with open arms. You've I, you've supported the channel, and you guys and some of your collections are awesome. And there's some collections I think I can help add to. So as I go along organizing. And I'll put aside and I'll hit you guys up with it for addresses and hopefully send you guys something back out in the mail. Um, but yeah, that's just what I want to do going forward. So that's the list for my uh, hobby goals for 2018, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel throughout the year. Thank you so much for, for the friendships that I've made this year. Again, please, happy new year to you guys. You guys have been awesome. And hopefully you got, we all have a healthy safe and prosperous 2018 uh, remember collecting is a life so learn to live it